All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all glory and praises and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to you, brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, as you saw in the video, um, it looks to, to appear um, as uh, they call them UFOs or UAP, unidentified aerial phenomenon. All right, that's what the world calls them. But we know that these chariots of the Heavenly Father, they're also known in the scriptures as clouds. All right. Uh, Zechariah uh, mentioned in uh, the fifth chapter uh, a flying roll. All right. Um, we know that Yahweh Shah is going to come back on a chariot. All right. And it's going to be massive. It's going to be huge. And um, they're coming to basically wipe the rulership. Okay. Take the ruling class and the officers and agents. All right. That are uh, agents for the uh, states. All right. For these different governments out of power, all right? And they're gonna come in a time of tribulation such as never since there was a nation. So I just wanted to get into a quick video. Um, I don't wanna make it too long, but um, Lord's will, you know, there's some edification that comes out of the video. So first, we'll start off at Zechariah 5 and 3. All right, it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. All right? So, these chariots are coming back to do damage, all right? These chariots are gonna cause a lot of devastation, all right? Scriptures say that there's no peace save the Lord to the wicked. So Esau, Edom, especially with your top elites, you're, you're trying to establish your new world order agenda, all right? At the same time, these chariots are revealing themselves, all right? There's a higher power uh, Shalakia. There's a higher power out here that um, opposes the science that's uh, available all right, to the understanding of the, the masses of people. And there's nothing that you can do to stop it. That's why the scriptures say this is the, the curse that goeth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it and who is the thief all right the thief is esau edom all right how did he get this land let's start off how he established america by treacherous dealings rape robbery and murder okay it says and everyone that swear shall shall be cut off as on that side according to it all right and <clears throat> And there's nothing that they can do. They've created a, a space force to oppose and study and get intelligence on the angels of the Heavenly Father. All right. But, you know, when it comes down to the come down, you come to the prophets and the prophets are going to tell you, according to the scriptures, what these chariots are going to do. All right. They're the curse that goeth forth over the face of the earth. All right. And they're going to cut off the thief. Okay, it says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. See, these devils have said that they were the angels. All right. They have depicted themselves as the angels. They have took took themselves to, to uh, take on the position of gods on the earth. All right. And and all of that. They've been found out to be liars, deceivers. And that's what these chariots are coming to do, to, to, coming back to make them afraid, all right, to take them out of power, okay? It says, um, and it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof, all right? And they're going to hover over the house of the thief and watch it burn like a lake of fire. All right, let me go to the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. All right, let's go to Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Mm. 
16, so this is about the 15 is coming up. Where is this point at? Let's see where it is. So this is uh Second Ezra's. Let's start at uh I'll start at 34 and read on down. It says, Behold, clouds from the east and from the north unto the south, and they are very horrible to look upon, full of wrath and storm. So we know that these clouds, they're speaking of the chariots. All right. When these things come in masses, all right, they're going to be hor horrible to look upon. All right. It says, They shall smite one upon another, and they shall smite down a great multitude of stars upon the earth, even their own star. And blood shall be from the sword unto the belly. All right, because not only are these chariots coming to bring forth fire, they have concentrated beams of fire. All right, and they're going to sever people in half, similar to what you saw on, on the movie The War. The War of the Worlds. All right. It says, and dung of men unto the camel's huff, because they're going to bring a lot of death. It says, and there shall be great fearfulness and trembling upon earth. And they that see the wrath shall be afraid and trembling shall come upon them. All right. Because that wrath, what the scriptures say in uh, second, uh, no, in Job 19, it says, fear ye the sword. For by the sword, it bring forth punishments. All right. You know that there's a judgment by the punishments that the Lord have brought forth. It says, and then shall... There come great storms from the south and from the north and another part from the west. And the strong wind shall arise from the east because they're going to come with those nuclear missiles. All right. And, and, and send forth that destroying wind. It says, and shall open it. And the clouds which he raised up in wrath and the star stirred to cause fear towards the east and west wind shall be destroyed. So not only are the chariots going to come, that star all right. Also represents Yahweh Shai. When you go into the book of uh, Numbers, all right, it mentions Yahweh Shai as being a star. It says the great verse forty. It says the great and mighty clouds shall be puffed up full of wrath, and the star that they may make all the earth afraid, and them that dwell therein, and they shall pour out over every high and eminent place, and horrible star. Fire and hail and flying swords, right? And many waters that are fields may be full, and all rivers with abundance of great waters. And they shall break down the cities and walls, mountains and hills, trees of the wood, and the grass of the meadow and their corn. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon and make her afraid. So, them chariots are going to come back in masses. And they're going to make her afraid. And scriptures speak of, of the war in heaven. All right, Michael and his angels and Satan and his angels. You've seen a small glimpse of it, okay, in that video. This time they had chariots, you know, um, they had the chariots just flying, but they, you had the, uh, the, um, the, uh, uh, the aircrafts in the back following after the chariots. But they're going to actually try to shoot munitions at the chariots and like the scriptures say in second Ezra, it speaks about how uh with the violent multitude they try to engage Yahweh shy but with with you know basically he said uh with the breath wasn't nothing left but smoke and and, and fire and ashes all right let me go to uh the book of uh let me go to the book of um isaiah 66 and 15. And I'll end the video here. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. It reads, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So those chariots, all right, the chariots which are the angels of the Lord, in mass, Yahweh Shah, him coming back. All right, they're going to make Babylon, America, afraid when they show forth their real force and they come on their mission. Right now, 
We got the charity that's doing recon reconnaissance exercises and just little miss missions, you know, in various parts of the earth. All right. Remember what the scriptures say. Um, let's see if the angel of the Lord. Go back here real quick. Oh man. I might be mix, mixing the scriptures because I was just thinking about the angel of the Lord. But then it says, that's one. That's not, um, that's not what I was looking for. In. It could be this one right here, Shalakia. Because the angels of the Lord are actually the eyes of the Lord. An angel means messenger. Right, let's see if we can find it. That's not it. Uh, so that's just only fair. 10 times brighter than the sun. That's a rock 23. Well, okay, this is the one right here. Proverbs 15 and 3. It says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. All right, and the Lord uses the angels, all right, you know, to report what's going on on the earth. All right. But, um, yeah, I'll end the video here. But, you know, um, just wanted to do a video, just land back off of, um, you know, those chair, you know, the sighting of the chariot of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Just a quick video, but call hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, by Hashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to your brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Until the next episode, Shalom.